getting rid of it, even though the House just voted to kill it. So what is going to happen? Representative Dan Lundgren was the first person to shed light on 1099, and it was his bill to repeal the provision that just won overwhelmingly in the House, and we welcome Congressman Lundgren now. Well, congratulations on passing it in the House, but what's, what's wrong with the Senate Democrats? Even Barney Frank wants to get rid of this thing. Well, everybody says they want to get rid of it. Uh, actually, that wasn't the case when I introduced this uh, last April. Uh, we had some on our side who said, well, we want a full repeal, so let's not fool with this. And we had those on the other side being told, don't do this because it's the first chink in the armor of the health care bill. At least we got past that on the floor today by a 314 to 112 vote. That was an overwhelming vote, vote but I, I don't understand why Democrats are now dragging their feet. Well, there's some talk about the pay-for that was put in here. Frankly, I didn't even think we needed a pay-for because what you're talking about is a new provision that never existed before. They, they claimed that it was going to somehow garner us over $20 billion. And the only way I could see that that would happen is if you uh, have the assumption that most people cheat. Now, look, we know that there are some cheaters, but I don't think most businessmen and women intentionally cheat. So I, I even question that. But the game we have here in Washington is if we kind of fool you with putting something like this through, and nobody, virtually no one knew that was in the health care bill, if you dare repeal it, you have to come up with the equivalent number of uh, taxes or uh, some cut somewhere. So they're arguing about the pay-for that was continued in this bill. And the pay-for that was included in this bill says that if there is an overpayment of the subsidy under the health care bill in the exchanges, you got to pay it back. All right. Well, I don't wanna, let's, let's, let's not get too stuck in the weeds. But the bottom line here is this is going to cost a lot of small businesses, many of whom we've had on scoreboard, a lot more money because now they have to account for things they didn't have to worry about accounting for before. And just the dragging of the feet of the Senate Democrats will cost a lot of businesses money because they have to implement these things anyway. They can't wait for you guys to figure out what's going to happen. Well, luckily, they don't have to implement that till January 1 of this coming year. But here is a double-edged sword, David. First of all, there's the imposition of all this new paperwork burden on businesses, particularly small business. But secondly, if you want to minimize the number of 1099s that you have to file and, and, and gathering the ID uh, information, tax ID from the other side of your business transaction. If you want to minimize those, what you do is you go to the big box stores only, you go to the chain restaurants, you don't dare go to your local restaurateur or your local small uh, businessman in the way of a uh, owner of a, of a uh, you know, a hardware store. Yeah, and I, but so, I, have to, I have to disagree with you on one thing, by the way. I, I, we talked to Amelia Antonetti and a lot of other small business people who said, look, I know it's not supposed to be officially implemented until next year, but we have to start dealing with it yeah, right, right now. Right now, you're we have right. to start preparing for it. Let me just ask you, though, quickly, the Absolutely. last question. If the president is against it, and he said he was in the State of the Union, uh, Barney yeah. Frank is, why the heck can't they pressure these Senate Democrats to pass the thing? Well, I think the overwhelming vote that we had in the House today, when we were joined by, I believe it was, 76 members of the other side of the aisle, has such a strong position going into the Senate. I think it would be difficult for them to say no, particularly if they hear from the small business community around the country. Yeah. By the way, great work in, in uh, bringing you. the country around to your side, because clearly the president wouldn't have been in favor of getting rid of this thing, nor would Barney Frank had it not been for the good work you did. Congressman Dan Lundgren, good to have you here, sir. Thanks for being in. Thank you. Coming up on deck, forget Charlie Sheen. You want a real formula for winning? Well, stick around to hear.